Hi guys. New soap base by Subtle Art Soap Company. Don't miss it. Get your popcorn. Hi guys. Welcome to another shave and scent of the day. Today we've got Subtle Art Soap Company and they were nice enough to send me a sample to check out their new base, new soap base. Uh, this is Bay Rum. Nice Bay Rum scent. Still a little, maybe mid, maybe just a touch under mid um, on directly out of the sample. Maybe that will change after, after I lather up. We'll see, but very nice, typical Bay Rum scent. Not heavy on the clove, which is which is great for me. Very nice. Um, I can tell you that the base is much softer um, as far as texture. Much softer than the other one. The other one was, was pretty hard. And this is, I mean, it's very easy to get your fingers in that. This is their new triple butter. Um, and ingredients are distilled water, stearic acid, uh, palm oil, potassium hydroxide, cocum butter, shea butter, vegetable glycerin, um, fragrance, mango butter, uh, sodium hydroxide. They call this their triple butter formula. So I'm excited to try that. The other one, um, <clears throat> the old base worked fine for me. Um, no, you know, nothing bad to say about it, especially at the 10 and $12 uh, price point. This one's going to be $15 price point, so it's going to be a little more expensive, um, which I would expect um, out of a triple butter formula. So I'm excited to get into this. Um, the weapon of the day will be my carve, um, and this is the straight bar D plate. Hang on. No, C plate. Um, so it's mild. I have not been shaving very much lately, so I need to get back into it. I need to toughen my skin up a little more, so I need to start shaving a little more frequently. Um, Splash today. This has got some bay in it as well, the essentials, um, which is based off the Lothario um, bath soap um, that Zingari Man has. So this one will work well. Um, and that's going to be my scent of the day, too. I worked really early this morning. Um, had trouble with my youngest one sleeping last night. So I didn't get to sleep until after midnight. And I had to be up at 4. So, so <laughs> I'm pretty tired. But I'm really excited to do this. You know, I went in early. But obviously that means I get out early, too. So I was out at 2. Um, and I've already showered. And I'm ready to get a shave in. Um, so... There we go, that's what we have. Um, and my brush is the um, PAA uh, Amber Aerolite. Um, and I've already got this loaded. So I just took the sample and pushed it down into my fine accoutrements bowl. Um, and so I'll get a little bit of this on my face to start with. And then you can see I've still, still got a nice little bit in there. So if I need to go back to it, then I can do that. Spa, uh, bougie water, not spa bougie. No, honestly, I sweated to death today. I was the kitchen manager, not dietitian today. Um, so I got some good sweaty time in the dish room today and just running all over the place. So I don't mind the cool water. That's where I was going with that. No, not cool water cologne. Well, I don't mind that either, but that's not what I'm talking about. All right. Let's get going. Shiny stuff. I'm excited to try this. Just out of the blue, hey, I finished my new soap base. You want to try it out? Absolutely, I do. I had given them feedback on their base before. I'm not saying they made this new base because of my feedback. Um,
but I was told my feedback was helpful. So I'm certainly glad to help in any way and pay it forward in this community for all of those that have paid it forward to me. If you're a company that's out there and <coughs> needs a tester for something, um, hit me up. I may be able to help. Just know that you will get my real feedback. I won't sugarcoat it. But hey, if I sugarcoat it, I'm not doing anyone any good. It's not good for me. Because it looks like, you, you know, you can't trust me and I don't tell you the truth. Uh, for the company, they don't get the, t the feedback that they need. If you just tell companies all the time that they're doing wonderful and there's nothing else they can do, they'll never grow. So, you're doing them a disservice as well. Am I the ultimate authority on wet shaving? No but I do have some experience. I've worked with quite a few products, so. And I hope that I'm trustworthy. I think you guys think I'm trustworthy. I think I've got you all fooled. All right, you can see we're all the way through this because you can see some skin tone under there. So now let's just get it worked in. I can tell you already that this is taking the water very nicely. And we're going to keep going with it. You got to keep going and give it the true test. I can tell you right now, that's shiny tell you right now that this is going to be good. If I didn't say this is supposed to be a $15 price point, and I think this is, I think this has just come out. I think it's available now. Look at that. That's shiny. That is incredibly shiny. No peaks there. I think we're good. Mm-hmm. It's in there. Excuse me. Excuse me for the spittle. Um. Not too bad. A little, little bitter. From the bay and clove and such. The bay spice, we'll call it. Not the tastiest, um, but, you know, not altogether terrible. So, the tasteometer, we're going to give that solid three and a half. And a 60-minute IPA. We'll have a little, you know, we're relaxing while we're, while we're shaving. Why not have a little adult beverage to go with it. Cheers to all of you. Thank you for joining me. Mm. That's a tasty one. And I just got lather in the bottle. I may taste this soap again. All right. Let's get going. Get a little alum on my fingers. Faux grip. Uh, Voshkod blade. I did not say that. Voshkod. That was my wonderful Russian accent. Oh, it wants to bloop. <laughs> Plenty of, oh, there it goes. Plenty of hydration in there. This carve is so smooth. Especially with this Voshkod blade in there. 
If your soap is not blooping, then it probably needs more water. You know me, I'm a small fan of water in the lather. I mean, that's plenty hydrated. In my mind, if you haven't really hydrated the lather, you haven't really given it a chance to shine. Um, literally and figuratively. There it goes. This bloop's nice. Nice slickness. Nice job, subtle art. You done good. There it goes. Get against the grain there. Really smooth shaver there. Every pass is blooping off here. Every pass, every stroke. I think you can hear that bloop pretty well. I apologize, I didn't do my hair for you guys again. I just showered and kind of dried my hair and then here we are. I know you guys are so upset and I'm, you know, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. There it is, the bloop. Beautiful first pass. Really nice and slick. I like it a lot. I was gonna use my pre-shave from grooming department again but kind of felt that would screw up my assessment of the soap base as you know you really want to see how the soap base produces by itself you don't want to add you know you don't want any out um any modifiers in there anything that could change the lather itself so i chose not to do that you see this stuff is nice very nice lather Now, you may be asking yourself, why did you decide to go with a synthetic brush with this shave? Um, and the answer is simple. I don't know. Just did. I know it's a technical answer. And it is the truth. I don't know. I haven't used a synthetic in a while. And, you know, I do like synthetics. I think... Maybe they're not luxurious. Maybe there's something luxurious about uh, badger brushes that just gets lost on a synthetic. But, I'll tell you what. They work great. I can get great lathers with them. You know, it doesn't matter what brush. You know, you just... If you know how to lather, then I think you're fine with whatever you use.
And if not, then I'm wrong. I'm okay being wrong. My wife has beat, beat that into me. No, she doesn't hit me. Much. That was not literal. Just getting that out there for you guys to take me so literally. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to the shave all day. Well, it's set for at four o'clock when I woke up after, you know, three plus hours of sleep. And I wasn't thinking about anything about one except wanting to go back to sleep. Keep the show rolling. We're going to get in a good 15, 16 passes today. Add a little water. Because why not? You know me, anytime I get a chance to add some water, I'm going to do it. I get my old skin conditioned to shaving again. Yeah, that skin is not conditioned at all anymore. It's like virgin baby skin. It's starting to get just a touch of discomfort, but we'll keep going anyway. Just gotta toughen it up a little. See, there's still plenty of soap in here. And this is not the soap's fault that I've got a little, a little mild irritation, just that I haven't shaved enough.
that. Still got some good stuff in there. Plenty of goodness for an eight pass shave. More water? All right. I like to play with my lather. All it does just give me more lather. It's good soap. I like it. More? Okay. Trying to get me to drown it? <clears throat> Trying to find the point where it won't take more water? Well, so far all it's doing is making more lather. Okay. Fine, you don't have to convince me. You don't need to pull my leg or my arm. Look at that, just more lather and more lather. Okay. You see what happened? It just got shiny. I'll bloop it off my chin. Nice soap. Nice soap. All right, if I add any more water, I'm not gonna be able to keep this lather on my face. So is it, is it okay if I go ahead and finish now? All right, thanks. Tasted more. The, um, the flavor has not opened up any differently. Um, and still a little, a little touch less than mid on the scent, um, but a very nice scent. I mean, you guys know I don't have to have a ton of scent. I don't need to be just crushed by scent. Um, but I wouldn't cry with a little touch more. I know there's a fine line between enough scent and a frag burn. I don't want frag burn. I've had it. It's not nice. But just a touch more wouldn't wouldn't hurt my feelings. But as you can see, so base prefers it performs great. Nice job. I mean, if you're going to take the time to retool your base, you want to know that it's better. And I would say absolutely 100% it is better. Um, and it is significantly better. And as I showed you before, the other one did fine. I did not have any troubles with it. It lathered nicely.
it performed. This performs better. Is this worth the extra three to five dollars per tub? A thousand percent, yes. This puts it around the price of sterling. Uh, does it perform as good as sterling? To me, 100%. Get a little spot. Does sterling have stronger scents? Yes. Let me ask myself another question. Is the scent good? Yes, absolutely. It certainly is. If you like bay rum, this is a very nice offering. I will also say I'm not a huge fan of bay rum and I like this better than most of the Maybe all of the Bay Rums, I don't know. I've not tried Phoenix Bay Rums though. And I guess they're like the king of Bay Rum. Um, but from what I've tried, this is very nice. All right. I'm just gonna go through and see if there's any stuff that I can get. A little closer if it needs it. Plus, I want to put this lather on my face again. Here you go. There you know, stiff peaks there. Very nice. I am pleasantly surprised. I knew when I felt it. It felt like it was going to be nicer. Um, absolutely nicer. Very happily surprised. I'm glad to see that they've made their stuff better. Some people will totally retool a base and you really can't tell that much difference in there. But, you know, they call it a new base. So, therefore, everyone's like, yeah, a new base. i got to try it. Um... This, if you've already gotten the old soap base, buy this. You will be happy with it. I endorse this soap and I'm not being paid to endorse it. Hey, if you come on this channel, you know you're going to get some dorky stuff, so don't get mad at me. I'm going to wear this whole virgin skin out. Definitely will not be shaving tomorrow. But I got to get it back to where I want it. My skin is not hurting. But. You know how it feels when it's time to stop. That's it's about where I am. But I've also gone 73 passes so far. I love taking these milder razors 
and getting BBS with them. And people go, oh, you can't get BBS with that. It's too mild. Yeah, you can. Key is to just stay with it. All right, I'm stopping. That's awesome. That is an excellent, excellent shave. So basil hold some water. I think they're gonna like like watching this review. Thank you, Joe and Sadie at Subtle Art Soap Co. Appreciate the chance to review this. And they didn't ask me to review it. They just wanted me to try it out. And I told them I would review it. And they said, oh, you know, you don't have to do that. We're not expecting that. Well, I need content. Thanks. You're doing me a service. I can't afford every soap in the world, so when I get a freebie, I'm all over it. Thank you very much for that. You're keeping money in my wallet. Ain't much there. All right. Got my brush. Washed out. Got a couple of flings. I say, don't fling the knot like that. You'll fling the knot right out of there. If you fling the knot out of there, then it wasn't set properly. In my opinion, maybe someone has flung a knot out before. I'm not worried about it. If it happens, then I'm contacting whoever made this, made the uh, brush and gone. Um, this probably shouldn't happen. Hook me up. All right, we're all cleaned up. And the essentials recovery splash. Probably gonna need that after 77 passes. Yeah, I caught the last bit of pass too. Why not? No alcohol, so I don't have to burn right now. Just fortunate. Mm, great scent. Uh, Bay Tobacco. I can't remember what else is in there. Very nice scent, though. Mm, that is good stuff. And that's going to be my scent of the day as well. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to hang out here at the house. So, thank you guys for joining me. Um, please try out this soap. Um, it is very good. You can see it performed very well. Um, the slickness was great. Uh, post shave, don't know yet. Um, but with the slickness that I felt while washing it off, I feel it's going to be pretty good. Um, so once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching me in my 77 passes and I'll see you on the next one guys. Have a good week.